Welcome to the uh, engineering coffee break. Uh, this time I like to talk a little bit about uh, cables. Well, you have cables at home, uh, I have cables at home, and but you will be uh, surprised how many cables there are actually in, uh, in the projects that we sometimes do. There is a uh, plant that we, uh, we helped design in South Africa. It was a $15 billion investment, it's a big power plant, but it was $150 million worth of cables. So cables are expensive. And cables sometimes are also complex. You know, if cables you think, if you're not in, uh, maybe uh, uh, into uh, electrical engineering so much that, uh, you know, a cable, okay, it's just three wires with a little bit of plastic around it. Well, there are cables that are very, very complex, very um, uh, expensive, because not all cables are like copper, but there are different materials that they use inside the cables, armor, protection, shields. So these cables are complex and very, very expensive sometimes. And there is a lot of it. Apparently $150 million is a lot of cable. Uh, think about power plants, think about ships, think about uh, even big uh, big plants like uh, uh, refineries and LNG plants. There are hundreds of thousands of kilometers of cables in there. So, you know, having said that, we need to be able to manage those cables because they're expensive. We don't want to uh, just have enough, you know, meaning that you have a lot left after the plant is done, that will be not good. Uh, even worse though is uh, not enough. I mean, because if the lead time of a cable is like uh, maybe two months, uh, to get it somewhere out in the, in the middle of nowhere and you're waiting for it and you got a whole crew in construction waiting on cable, that's also not good news. So cables are very important from a cost perspective and a scheduling perspective and, you know, what our goals is, we, we need to have no surplus and uh, no, nothing too short, no shortage, and we have to look at the cost. We you know, have to manage the costs. And I'll talk a little bit about the cost later, how we can manage that a little bit. Now the thing is, when you do a project, of course you go uh, from zero to 100% when it is complete. Obviously when you're done with the project, then you know all the cables, and you know all the length, and everything is fine. However, you know, these cables, like I said, are sometimes complex and take time to make and time to ship. So you cannot wait to the last minute. So sometimes you have to order like here in order to get them here. Unfortunately, the product is not yet done. So how do we handle that? How do we able to still order the right amount of cables to get on the end of the project while we're not, while we're not done yet? So that is basically a challenge and um, for that you need a solution that is uh, very flexible. Meaning for instance, if you uh, do an electrical system, uh, you can determine the cable from and to very easily and then calculate all the, uh, you know, the sizes of the cable. Now when it comes to the length, you need some of the physical part of it. So you need basically the interface between the schematic environment, you know, the electrical schematics, and then the physical environment which is a 3D model most of the time these days. But if the 3D model is not there yet, you have to have the flexibility to have a temporary place where you think the cable is going to land. You don't know exactly yet because maybe it's a package unit, maybe it's a piece of equipment. You don't know yet exactly where the, uh, the cable is being connected to, but you need to get to this length as, as quick as possible. So what you can do is, uh, you know, uh, place a temporary spot, uh, sometimes they call it a hockey puck, and then route the cable and get the length. But the flexibility and the speed need to be there once the final location is determined to tweak that and come up with the final length and maybe change a little bit the purchase order uh, to make sure that you get the right information or the right length and the right quantity there because remember our goal is you know we don't want any uh, leftovers but also we don't want any any shortage now the other uh, challenge that you have of course these cables are not coming uh, you know in exactly the length that you have specified in the design they're coming on these standard reels you know this is the artistic impression of a reel have to have some imagination here. And let's say that the standard length on this particular cable is like 2,000 meters. Now you have all these pieces that you designed, you know, some is 150 meters, some is 1,500 meters, and you got a whole mix in between uh, that as well. Some actually are longer than 2,000, need to be spliced maybe, that's also an option. So what happens is once you create the different length of the cable, 
and you have the initial length and hopefully you can zoom in on the final length when the project is progressing and make sure that you get your cables on time, you need to do the real management. That means these cable lengths need to be assigned in the most optimal way to these reels because you cannot say, okay, we got 20 reels out there of 2,000 meters, we roll them out to the field and go ahead and cut the cable of any reel that you want and see how it goes. That is probably not a good idea because you will probably end up with a lot of pieces that are all too short, too long, you know, not fitting. So you need to be very exact which cable comes from which reel to optimize that because that has to do with cost. You have to optimize these cables based on the standard reel length that you have. Now the other challenge you have is, if, is, is managing the uh, segregation as we call it, you know, because we've got power cables, the instrument cables, and T, telecommunication, phone, or something like that. You know, we all know you cannot just throw them all together in a, in a big trench or tray, they need to be separated. So you see there are many angles on managing the cables for a project. And there are of course are huge quantities of them. And like I said, cost is involved and schedule is involved. So you have to manage the segregation between, you know, in, in trays, trenches and, and conduits. Then you have to look at the goals that you have and then you have to have the flexibility to order in time to get the cables on time, but still have the flexibility and speed to adjust that so you make sure you have everything when the construction starts. And then last but not least, you know, managing the cost and managing, making sure you have, you know, the right length for, for your, and you're not splices, for instance, everywhere, that'd be, that'd be also not good, that you manage the, the cables in conjunction with the standard real length of the manufacturer, which can change, of course. I took the example of 2000, but of course, there could be manufacturers said, no, 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 this is 1000 for us or much longer. Depends on the type of cable as well. So anyway, I mean, I just wanted to share with you uh, during uh, this particular uh, coffee break that, that cable management is, is, is a challenge, that there are solutions out there to help you, but there are certain, you know, parameters, things that you have to think about, but ordering in time and managing the cost and the length and everything to make sure that you, uh, you're not short of it. You don't have a whole bunch of cable left when you leave the project. You know, the owner will not be happy with that, or maybe if it's on your own cost, your boss will not be happy. And of course, you want to manage the cost as well with the cables, which, for instance, the segregation and, and the real length. So, okay, I'll, uh, I hope I gave you some, uh, some hints and some ideas what to think about and what the possibilities are using uh, some of the solutions that are outdoor, out there to, uh, to help you to achieve those, uh, those needs and goals when you manage the cables. Thank you and uh, we'll see you at the next coffee break.